Hey there everyone, glad you can join me for another unboxing. We're taking a look at a Seiko here. Um, this one is a Seiko Turtle and I can't wait to take a look at the the new face. This is, um, you know, they've been doing the series to save the ocean and here we got the Manta Ray. Uh, looks beautiful. The Manta Ray is kind of hidden in the dial. They keep it um, not in your face or anything. Now this Seiko turtle is a king turtle. It's, you know, in early 2020, they um, started upgrading the, the turtle watch. Um, so you would have the ceramic bezel insert, which you could see there, um, how it shines at you. And they've also given you a sapphire crystal. So yes, this is one of the upgraded ones. They're continuing with the king turtle series. And this one um, features uh, swimming manta rays. There you can see the band, uh, same strap as usual. The turtle now seems to have become an old friend that we go ahead and see on the show. You know, it seems like every couple months at least there's a new turtle on the loose. And i uh, like to show it to you guys so you get to see what it looks like. Um, the Save the Ocean series, and there's so many different blue variants here. Um, this one's different than the others. Uh, you had the the shark, the great white shark last year, and it um, you know it had the wave pattern on it. Here they went with a different style. Um, it's more like a textured face, and you can see faintly the shadows of the manta rays swimming in the distance. Now manta rays aren't stingrays. Um, a lot of people get them confused. They're two different species. Uh, manta rays uh, swim you know in the ocean while the stingrays are more like bottom feeders you see them glide along the bottom more uh, these glide along the ocean and manta rays can get quite large uh, manta rays uh, at one time were called devil rays and that's when the you know the, the tampa bay rays they were called the devil rays for a time too and um, the devil rays was a name given to the manta ray fish because it looks like little horns on the top of its head and people used to catch them and you know um, this was before that they knew that they were actually gentle giants they didn't harm anyway and harm anyone so very cool and they would also um, jump up out of the air and you know they do flips and you know kind of like a dolphin would and stuff like that so they're very neat if you get a chance um, take a look and watch some uh, videos on YouTube with manta rays on it and here we can see the face again. Um, any angle you look at it, it's another beautiful addition to the Seiko, Seiko Turtle lineup. I always find it hard because once you get one, then another one comes out. And you're like, man, maybe I should have got this new one instead of that old one. But you like the old one. They're all similar but different, you know. Um, this one, I like how it's darker around the edges, you know, with the black bezel. And that blackness continues into the dial of the watch. It's almost like you're really peering. You know, it's kind of like it looks like when you're underwater. Here you can see the, the turtle on my wrist. And it is a 45 millimeter watch. And the way the placement of the lugs are and the curvature of the head, um, it doesn't feel huge. It's kind of become like a normal size with this turtle now. Um, So yeah, um, the turtle is a great everyday watch, and it's nice to see them add another turtle to the lineup. Um, seems like Seiko's been pushing uh, Seiko Lux so much lately with so many different styles. It's nice to, to have another turtle, and also with the Seiko 5 getting pushed a lot. Here you can see the loom, uh, great loom as always. The movement in it is a 4R36 movement. My wrist is a seven and a half inch wrist. And here you go. You can see it with a little bit of distance. Um, again, this is a king turtle, so you've got the sapphire crystal and the ceramic bezel. So very cool watch, a great addition to Seiko overall. Please um, take the time to like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Bye.